So Kota Ibushi is going to Wrestle Kingdom 2020, January 2020. I'm not sure of his contract status. Um, they say he has a lifetime contract. Storyline-wise, KFAB, I don't know about shoot-wise. If that's the case, was it too early to give him the ball or bust like Moxley or Kenta? Not sure of their contract situations. Kenta, I don't think, was ready because uh, they seem... I, I still have problems with Kenta's storyline. Um, they sure had him join Bullet Club in the beginning. And then mock Shibata with the sleeper. Because, like, I didn't... I'm used to him striking and then having the storyline about him doing the sleeper in... Because he portrayed Shibata was a lot better. JY would have been good. I don't know if Jay White's going to WWE. WWE could spend more money to get Jay White. He won't be big. He's not the Vince Mode. But he was a heel very well. He can wrestle. I don't know what his gimmick would be. He won't bring the Switch. He probably owns the rights to Switch Play, but I don't know if he'll bring it to WWE. Kota Bushi's never won the world title. Um, it'd be a pretty excellent time for him to win it. He does the homages to Nakamura and his friend Kenny Omega. Does the wrestling style ever since he had the K-Fab. I don't know if it's K-Fab or shoot that he hit his head on the thing and lost the vision. But he's good. Maybe because of health reasons they're worried. Maybe that's why they give him the belt because like, they're worried about health reasons that he can't go on for much longer. Uh, they didn't give those to Sonata. Maybe develop Sonata one more year. They've been doing like stuff from the New Japan Cup last year and bringing it up to this year, which is really great storytelling. The WWE, they're lucky they even did the Kurt Hawkins thing. Storyline with Zack Ryder. They haven't done that stuff for like forever. Like they actually they are, you don't remember any of that stuff. You don't remember stuff from company to company. I don't think company to company should be canon, at least my old school mentality with the NWO and WWE storylines. Like, they, they never brought Canon from one company to another. I have to say, Bushi's a great wrestler. I don't know about submissions. I think it'd be interesting if he formed a tag team with Yujiro and. There's no storyline for it, so I don't know what happened. Yujiro and Ghetto. It's Sonata and Kenta. Bullet Club, the Golden Elite Bullet Club. What do you want to call it? But, I don't know. He'd have great matches. There won't be any storylines, but there'd be great matches. Uh, he can't really wrestle Omega with the Bucks. Pulse would really wrestle. Because he just have th these great matches and that'd be the storyline. What are your thoughts? Like, I'm subscribed.